Hi, I'm Chris Naniga, the Director of Training Development at Swift Otter, and you're watching a free lesson from our BigCommerce Frontend Foundations training course, the most extensive and in-depth learning experience available to turn you into an expert on BigCommerce's default frontend framework. If you like what you see in this lesson, see below for the link to the full course. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the distinct types of templates in Stencil and the conventions around how they're composed together to form the final page that is rendered in response to a request. So in the templates directory, we have these three subdirectories, components, layout, and pages. Those are really your three types of templates. And while you are free to organize your templates however you choose within those directories, with whatever subdirectory structure you want and everything, those three directories represent a pretty strict separation of roles. Your, your templates are going to go in one or the other of those. These, these top-level directories are pretty important. So let's look at layout first. We only see two templates in here in Cornerstone. Uh, layout templates are the outer frame of a page. So they're going to define the outer HTML structure that's common to many different pages. And uh, the empty template that's in here is pretty much just a stripped down template just containing a head and a body, while this base template is the one that pretty much all pages in the theme use. And we see a lot more in here, but this is this is still basic frame stuff. So we have we have our HTML head and a lot of global things that are being injected into that. And then we have the body, a few global things in here as well. Uh, but then the injection of several kind of uh, outer templates for major portions of the page structure. We also see, let's come back up here in the head until we find this block declaration. Uh, so we see a block declaration, the syntax that we've already looked at that's defining a slot here that other templates can, can inject content into the head with. And uh, we don't see a similar one down here in the body, but that's just because the, the block dec declaration for the main page content is occurring in one of the uh, sub templates, one of the templates that's being injected with these, with these expressions here. But uh, overall, the role of a layout template is to provide global content that should appear on every page and to provide those slots to define the blocks that pages can then fill with their own content. And then this uh, this layout is then applied to pages as we will see in a moment when we look at page templates. Now in Cornerstone, this is basically the only template. This base is applied to all of the page templates that we're going to see here, but you are free to create different layouts in your theme as you might have need for. If you're going to create multiple layouts, I would recommend kind of breaking things up in here a little bit. There's probably gonna be a lot of, of things in your layout templates that are nevertheless common between them. And so a lot of the stuff that you see directly in the base template in Cornerstone, uh, there's probably opportunities there for you to uh, break those up into common component templates uh, so you avoid duplication. Now let's talk about page templates. Page templates are basically the entry point for rendering a page. The BigCommerce backend application will do its initial routing, determining from a URL what type of page that is, whether it's a product page or a category page, and determine which page template corresponds with that page type. And then it will start the rendering, kick it off with that page template. Uh, so when I said that you, uh, you can use whatever organizational structure you want for your templates within these subdirectories, uh, that applies to the others, but not so much pages. The, the names of the files in the pages uh, directory are are pretty much uh, definitive names that need to stay as they are because those are the the pages that are mapped to different types of page requests by the BigCommerce application. The category uh, template is the template for the category page. The product template is the template for the product page, and so on. So if we look at one of these, here's the product uh, product HTML template. First of all, this syntax that you see here at the top, this actually isn't a part of the template itself. This is YAML front matter, and we are going to talk about that in depth later. 
Uh, but then uh, also of note in this template, if we come all the way to the bottom here, this is where we see the reference to our layout template. So layout base, that is what is essentially telling this template what layout to use for its outer page frame. And then everything else that we see in here is is within this partial wrapper. We've already seen this syntax and, and we understand what that does. So this is a convention that you're going to see over and over in the page templates, which is that really page templates don't have much in the way of direct output uh, at all. Rather, they define content for blocks with these partial expressions uh, that, that we know are going to get injected into slots defined in other templates. And then it's really when they when they inject the layout template here at the bottom and you see that that's just that's typical template injection syntax like we've seen. There's nothing really special about this. When that uh, layout template gets injected, it's really here on that line that any rendering of content really kicks off. The layout template actually is going to start rendering things and when it encounters the different blocks uh, it'll it inject the content that was defined in these partials so that's uh, that's kind of how page templates work is to define content but not really start the the rendering of content until they render their uh, associated layout template there's less to say about component templates uh, because these are more or less just generic building blocks so component templates are those snippets that are getting injected into page and layout templates or into other component templates with different uh, snippets of content for whatever purpose. You can see that there's a particular hierarchy to things here in Cornerstone. We have common components that get injected in various uh, various places uh, in pages throughout the site. We have specific category related templates here. We have product related templates, uh, but really this, this hierarchical organization can be whatever you want to make it. These are just generic building blocks and pretty much most of the content in in a site is going to be defined in various components rather than the other two types of templates and then pages and layouts are are mainly just to kind of compose those building blocks together so components get injected in layout uh, layout templates components get injected in page templates or in like i said into other components and they just really form the generic building blocks so let's put all these pieces together now and look at how a page, let's say the category page, gets rendered from start to finish using all these different uh, template types and different techniques. Uh, so as we as we talked about, BigCommerce is going to find that entry, uh, that main entry point template just based on the page type. So things kick off with the category template here. And let's just let's look at a few of the different pieces of content we see in some of these templates, and then we're going to look at a visual of kind of how they work together. So in the category template, we have partial for head with some content defined there. We have a partial for page with a lot of other content. There's many different component templates that we see getting injected in various places here, like this product listing component here. And those components could be injecting other components that could be injecting other components. This is how the basic building blocks are being put together here. We uh, see if we look here in components, category, product listing, that indeed other components are being injected. These probably have injections of their own. So that's all being defined here in partial. And then at the bottom, we have the injection of that layout base template. And then as we've seen in the layout template, uh, we have our main page frame. We have a slot for head. Here in the body, we have various pieces of content, including the injection of this components, uh, this, this body component here. And if we look at that body component, we've already seen it before, that's where we have these block declarations, including page. So that all comes together like this. When the initial page request comes in, the, the category template that we see here in the center, the page template, is where things kick off. There are those partials that we saw, and then rendering really kicks off at the bottom here when the uh, layout template is injected, that base template. So over there on the right, the, the base template then starts off from the top and renders through to the bottom, and when that block, that head block, is encountered, that's where we get the injection of the head content that was defined in category. And then both of these kinds of templates, the, the page template and the layout template, 
are injecting various components. So that's what we have over here on the left. We've got the product listing component that just happened to be injected when that uh, body partial was being defined in the category page. We have the body template that's being injected directly into the base template, the layout template, uh, when that uh, when that particular expression is reached. And it's that body component that is rendering the contents of the page partial. All of that getting wrapped up into the into the base layout uh, output that's rendered uh, when it's called in the page template. So that's the basic process of page composition and how these different uh, different moving pieces work together to render a page in stencil. You, we've seen those uh, basic techniques of template injection and then the way blocks and partials work together. And this is how that all comes together with the three distinct types of templates in your theme.